What is good guys and girls of YouTube? My name is Justin Omoe and I'm here with a video for you guys and girls to help you out with your music and whatnot. Today I'm going to teach y'all how to put plugins into your FL Studio. Now when you install FL Studio, most likely you will be given the option to install something known as VST plugin. It's going to be a file in your computer located here. Start computer at C. If you are using a 64-bit computer like I am, it's going to be an x86. You can double click and then type VST <clears throat> and right here. So notice over here I got all these DLL files. Uh, I'll probably have more than you right now, not to be boasting, but these are all VST plugins, like third-party stuff that I throw in here. So yes, right here I have a folder named MDA plugins that I downloaded from MDA's actual place, I guess. They're free plugins. If you want, go ahead, you know, Google it, whatever. But for this example, I'm going to show you, I'm going to copy and paste this into the VST plugins folder, or move them in this case. I'm going to hit yes, yes. Cool, so notice all these plugins went to VST plugins. Cool, once we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and go to FL Studio, bring it back up, and go to my browser right here. If you don't see it, it's probably like all the way in the corner, you're gonna have to either right click it or just drag it open and be like, yo, come out. There, next we're gonna go to this icon right here that says plugin database, or hit number three on the whatever, just click it, man, it's, it's easier. Good. Next up, we got to click installed. And for this example, right now, I'll show you in the effects. VSC, notice there are plugins in here, but you don't see any MDAs. And that's because we have to do what is known as refreshing the plugin list. So, what you got to do is just right click and then go to refresh plugin list. And bam, it'll give you this little thing. It's going to show you how to mark favorites, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do that myself. You, you could read on your own if you want, but yeah. So if I scroll down, notice there's orange stuff here. This is all MDA. Cool. If you are already refreshed and you had like plugins before, you want to just see the new ones, there's a tab that says new. Just click it. You'll see all the new plugins right here. It's easier to like, I guess, you know, manage with that. So what I want to do is actually put these in the little uh, list over here. So if you click here, notice I don't have anything that says MDA, blah, 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 nothing, nada. So what we could do is either do this. I'm going to go ahead and drag the first plugin, Bandisto or Bandisto, whatever. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to go into the effect tab because these are all effects. These are not generators. So I'll explain that after this, but right click on effects, go to open. Good. Well, that took a while. I'm going to right click, go to new folder and I'm gonna name this MDA yeah just MDA click it good but anyways just know I made the folder name MDA I'll minimize that right now and it's right here if we highlight MDA we could go ahead and go to the plugin over here click this little carrot whatever this thing's called arrow and then click add to plugin database flag as favorite and there because this is highlighted we could add it into this subcategory MDA so if I hit yes Notice if I click MDA, but yeah, notice we have MDA Bandisto here and it has the actual thumbnail to it. This is one way to plug in the plugins and add them into a folder. Now, for example, if I go here, notice I'll have the folder name MDA right there and it has the Bandisto or Bandisto, whatever. Next, I'll just put, let's say, Beatbox. Let's throw this in there. Cool. Now, if I want to put this in more than one folder just because you want to, you know, organize it, let's say, Beatbox is a patcher as well. We can highlight both patcher and MDA, go over here and then put add plugin to database and notice MDA and patcher. So if I hit OK, it's going to go in MDA and the patcher, but I don't want to do that because, you know, that's not organized to me. But anyways, yeah, I'll just go ahead and click MDA only and then do the same thing. So yeah, yep. Yeah. But you know, this is mad tedious. We don't want to do this. We could just open up that MDA folder like we did back here, go into plugin database, go to installed, go to effects, that's where we are over here, and matter of fact, go into the new. I'm gonna go ahead and control A to highlight all of them, control X, or you can right click and then hit cut, and then go back to the plugin database, go to effects, 
search for that MDA folder, and guess what? You could just hit copy and paste. And yes, I want to move and replace them. So cool, notice right here, we have all the MDA stuff in this folder. And just like it's in this folder, we'll have it all in the you know thing right here, MDA. Notice all the plugins are here and it continues over here. Cool. Now back at what I was saying with effects and generators, what's the difference between those? Let me go ahead and just clean this up because you know, it's, it's mad, you know, what, stupid thing, effect, go back, there, good. So, shit, what? <laughs> now we have these two folders, effects and generator. What's the difference and why do they have these two things? Well, the reason being is because Effects are going to be effects that are applied in the mixer and generators are going to be sounds that are being played Within this thing itself the patterns. So if I were to right-click go to insert these are all plugins that make sounds So yeah, hopefully this video helps you out thumbs up if you like it Be sure to subscribe to your boy Justin Omoe and if you like this beat that is playing right now You could go ahead and click the annotation at the end or the I button and yeah Peace out.